Good morning. All right, I'm gonna adjust my chair height real quick. Good morning, guys. Things are hopping on. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I've wanted to do these for a really long time and we're just gonna try it out. Friday favorites. So if you are hopping on right now, um, say hello. My sister's texting me sometimes. That's important. Um, say hello, um, drop a comment. And if you're watching the replay, um, in the comments below, just type replay. So I know that you watched and I know that you're here. Welcome. All right. So I'm going to do a get ready with me this morning because I was going to do this a little bit different, but, um, kids and my toddler, and, um, I just did not get completely ready in time to be camera ready. So we'll just go ahead and do it together. Um, I've got my coffee. My Frye coffee. I love this mug and I love it more when I actually remember to use it on Friday. Sometimes I don't remember. So we'll take a sip. Cheers. All right. So Friday favorites. Let's just do them first. Let's do right off the bat. Friday favorites. I have been using... I'll just, I just got out of the shower, so I just used this, so it's a little wet still. My seven-year-old is helping my three-year-old go potty. And, you know, my three-year-old has a little bit of an attitude. But anyways, first Friday favorite. All right, so I've been using this sugar scrub, which you can actually make yourself. Um, you don't have to buy one. You could just take some olive oil or coconut oil and mix it with sugar, brown sugar. Um, and kind of just until it forms a paste. But I would definitely recommend grabbing one of these. This is a, a pumice stone. And I like to just squirt some on my stone um, to scrub my feet with. So that is my first Friday favorite. I also have been, this is from Target. It's called Unfiltered by Raw Sugar, Body Butter and Sugar Scrub. So here's a sugar scrub, and then this is the body butter. And this is pineapple and mango, which I love. There you are. <laughs> the kids are using the potty, so that's real nice. It's three of my life. But anyways, I love this, um, the smell of this body butter. It smells amazing. So put some on now. All right, so second Friday favorite. Um, I have talked about this a lot and every time I wear it, almost every time I wear it, someone asks me about it. So it's my braid and it's just a headband. So it goes all the way around and it just got a nice comfy band in the back. It's not too tight. Um, it doesn't give me headaches because some headband headbands will give me headaches. Um, and this one is the highlighted, I think it's just highlighted. There's a highlighted ash, and I don't think that was the one that matched my hair color. Um, they actually will recommend one for you, but the ones that they recommended, I didn't think would match my hair, and I was right because I think they would have been way too blonde. So this is from Madison Braids, and they have um, a lot of times coupon codes, and I share them. They text me them all the time, so um, when I get them, I try and share them with you guys, but super cute. There's lots of different styles. This is the Lulu, so, or yes, the Lulu. Um, and it's, it's my favorite. It also hides if you have, um, roots also hides that a little bit. So, all right. And my third Friday favorite, oh, it's right over here. I have been using Paracone MD, um, uh, face, I guess, face products. What do you want to call them? Face cleanser. I've been using like the whole line. So, um, I really, really feel like I love the firming stuff the most. I have the brightening treatment, um, but I have all the firming stuff as well. I think it's really important to use something with, um, brightening in it to just keep your skin bright. Um, and I've used that for a few years now. Um, so a lot of my brown spots have faded a lot. And just put a, we'll just put a diaper on right now. And so um, I really like the face firming 
line because it has retinol in it. And I've never used a product with retinol in it until just recently. And um, I've noticed a huge difference in, um, especially this line right here. I have a line that likes to um, kind of, it's, it's formed because of squinting and just raising your eyebrows. And um, I noticed my mom had it really prominently, the exact same spot actually on both sides. And so um, I'm like really trying hard to prevent that from happening without having to do something like Botox. So I've been really loving the face for me. This is Paracone, Paracone MD, and it's the face firming serum. And then I don't sell this. This is, you just have to like Google it. Um, and this is the moisturizer. There's an eye cream as well, and I have it right here. And I only use these at nighttime. So I use these three at nighttime, and then I have the brightening treatment I use daytime. So um, I have just been loving them, so I thought I would share. And then um, my fourth thing, I'm wearing it. It's this, um, it's a kimono, and I can show you it after I get his diaper and pants on. <laughs> It's a kimono here. It's just like, isn't this pretty? I got this at Target. So that's my fourth Friday favorite. And then my fifth one I'm gonna show you. I'll go ahead and show you right now. So um, I've been using this lip plumper for about a month now and it's called Ignite. And I do sell this. Um, it's only one out of the five. But um, I just love it. I use it all day long. I even um, will put like a little bit of our um, velvet kisses over top of it and it just gives it a pretty um, little tinted color to it but it's a gloss and this one is um, like an iridescent I actually hope that we come out with like a few more tinted glosses um, just because I love them so much but uh, this one's called ignite and it's a lip plumper it actually has um, little microspheres in, in it that plumps your lips so it's not an irritant some lip plumpers work by irritating um, your lip um, to make it appear plumper, but um, this actually pulls moisture, moisture from within out to make your lips plumper. So I love it. It's one of my favorite products. So those are my five Friday favorites. And sorry about all the chaos um, leading up to that. It's my life. If you're a mommypreneur, mommypreneur, if you're an entrepreneur as a mom, I would love to know how, here in my mouth, I would love to know how you get it all done. Like, how do you go live with kids in the background? How do you do everything? Because I, sometimes I'm just like flying by the seat of my pants and I'm hoping that somebody out there can relate because <laughs> it's all I got. And I feel like it is, I mean, I feel like because I do it with my kids and I'm, I am doing things like changing his diaper or letting him sit on my lap while I'm doing makeup, I feel like it's relatable to a lot of people and I feel like it's something that a lot of people could do themselves. So it's kind of why I do it. It's really the only way I can <laughs> do my business, but, um, but yeah, so I'm going to get ready and I'll just chit chat while I'm getting ready. Um, and I'll tell you about some of the products that I'm using. So this is um, our primer. It is called P3 Primer. And you guys can get this all on my website. There should be a link above. I think I might be able to add. Okay, I can't add a link now, but I, I'll put it in the comments. It is www.brookfarnsworth. Com. Easy peasy. And there's a, a couple um, options. You can go to my blog. You can go um, to my website and purchase. Um, so there's a few things. I think that my Spotify playlist might be on there too. I can't remember. But all right. So this is P3 primer. And if you are over 30, you probably should use some form of primer. Um, because as we age, typically we have larger pores, starting to get some fine lines. Um, so it's just a good thing to have. So I have a little bit of fine lines underneath my eyes and 
like I said, I use skincare to help prevent that from getting worse. I did not use skincare in my 20s and I wish I would have. My hope is that Tori Bell comes out with some bomb.com skincare because I really, I need it for one. And two, I feel like um, it would, if I really love it, I really could do well at selling it. So I have, this is It Cosmetics. It's a CC cream and it has SPF 50 in it. Woo -woo! I'm just gonna take that and put it on my face. And it's color correcting, so it will match your skin tone. If this is actually a full coverage, which I like because you can kind of put it on as thick as you want or not. Like I could mix it with lotion too and make <laughs> make it into a um like just like a tinge of moisturizer if I wanted. But I just kind of do it a light, not super thick. But look at that. And this is a stipple brush or a kabuki brush. And I just take this and I just pat it super easy. A lot of times I have my hair pulled back. So, all right, next thing, my bag of tricks is, this is Tarte concealer. I love the applicator. Um, I love that I don't have to get it on my fingers before I apply it. And the one I got came with a, here it is, a little sponge, which I need to clean mine. Um, and you can just take it and just kind of pat it underneath your eyes. And blend it out. I have to have concealer. It is like one of my must have problems. You see that? Like it's literally just disappeared. All that darkness. My lids are dark. And all of that gone. So now my face is really flat. You don't want your face to look flat after you put on um, your foundation. This, these, these things are great at concealing and evening out your skin tone, but you don't want your face to look flat. So lots of people, what they do is they put on blush. But you can do more than just blush and it's super easy. Like, I don't want to overcomplicate this. You all can do this. I know it. I have confidence in you and I can help you. We can FaceTime. We can be best friends. I will make sure that you are putting it on in the right spot. Okay. And all you need is this palette. I can literally put it all over your face. You can put it on your eyes. You can put it on you could put it on your brows, you could put it on your lips, you can put it on your cheeks, you can put it all over. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. Mine's a little messy because it's been used real life. I could take a rag and clean it all up and make it look pretty for y'all, but guys, I'm a hot mess mom, so I don't have time for all that. Okay, looks like I missed a spot right above my lip. So, just gonna fix that. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this um, dark color right here, and I'm just gonna put it right under my cheekbone. Whoa, scary, right? It's not. Just blend it out. You got it. Same thing on the other side. You guys can do this. This is not hard. This is just like putting your blush on. You did not know where to put your blush when you first started using makeup, right? You probably put it on your cheeks and went whoosh. <laughs> Remember like that bright pink blush that people used to do that with? Woo! All right, so I'm gonna fix this side a little bit more. 
guess what? If you make up, mess up too, take that foundation, go right over it, fix it, blend it. All right, same thing. I'm gonna take the middle colors and make a blush. I actually, I do that because it's an old habit, but I actually like to see the apples on my cheeks and where I'm putting it and smile because that's where I want my blush to go. And I like it to kind of blend into my contour a little bit. You still with me? You still with me? If you're still with me, give me some hearts. Comment below, I'm still with you, I can do this. All right, it's not hard. I'm gonna take that shimmery color right here and I'm just gonna rub it across my, my um, cheekbone. This is actually a set of Real Technique brushes too. You can get them on Amazon. And it's like a, might be a contour set. I don't know what it's called exactly, but um, I like it because one, it's cheap, like a normal set, normal price. And two, I use all the brushes in it. It's a three brush pack. So you got your contour, you got your blush, you got your highlight. And I just did that on my cheekbone. I did it on my nose, down the bridge and on the tip and did it across my forehead across my lip, boom, done. Easy, you can do this, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take these um, darker colors. You don't have to be scared of them. You can put them on as dark or as light as you wish, okay? I'm just gonna take that shimmery and mix it a little bit with the dark. I'm just gonna pat that a couple times right in my corner. Pat that a couple times right in my corner. Easy. And then I'm gonna, it doesn't have to be perfect either, guys. You're gonna do a little bit of blending and it's gonna be awesome, okay? So, depending on your eye shape, you may have to go up higher. If you if you have hooded eyes, you're gonna go above your crease. Hi, Bubby. If you have really large eyes, you might go like right in the crease. So depending on how big your eyes are, how they're set, it might be how you um, apply that uh, eyeshadow. <clears throat> okay, let me grab one more brush here. I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna just put it on in the corner and I'm gonna blend it out to the outer corner, okay? Super easy, you can do this. It's not hard, okay? The best thing is, is you don't even, if you're wearing our lashes too, you don't really need a lot of eyelashes because the lashes are so pretty and not all of them are dramatic, but they just really open your eyes up you don't really need a whole lot. So you can take this or this color, any of these colors and just put them over top of that Ignite. Now I have a tinted gloss. Pretty, right? Okay. So we're gonna put on some eyeliner and then I'm gonna show you some brows and then we're gonna be done. Easy peasy. So this is, if you've never seen it before, this is our magnetic eyeliner. Nicknamed the magic stick and you're gonna see why here in just a minute. It's amazing. And you're gonna put on two coats. So when you get your new liner, you're actually gonna stir it, and I cannot talk and do this at the same time. You're gonna stir it, so give it a good stir. I'm getting good at putting an eyeliner on with my eye open. Bring him here, Bristol. The whole gallon, or? No, it's just like the little thing that, that Dad got from Wendy's yesterday, those little ones. Mm. Can you put it in a container for him? Uh, it has a lid on it. Oh gosh, it's 
see mommy preneurs how do you do this how do you do it my toddler's taking there's chocolate milk upstairs you gotta be quick does this stress you out like are you stressed out for me <laughs> it really isn't that big of a deal the carpet cleaner is right up there so i guess i'll just clean it up all right, so I'm going to do a second coat. So you're going to do two coats. I didn't get the inner corner of this eye very good or the outer corner, so I'm going to make sure I hit that real good on the second line. Same thing right here. So just kind of make sure that you're really getting those areas on the inner and outer corners real well. Super hard for me not to want to pull my eye when I put on the eyeliner. Anybody else? All right, same thing over here. And this eyeliner is close to being gone. So I'm gonna put on one more. It's got a little thing there. All right, so make sure. Okay. Looks pretty good. So two coats, I mean, if you're running low, you might wanna put a little extra on there just um, cause sometimes when the tube gets low, and you just don't apply as much as you normally would. So two coats of the magic stick, and then you're gonna let it dry really, really well. I also put on a coat of mascara just to make my um, lashes match. My, my natural lashes match my false lashes. Um. All right, do some brows and then we'll pop on lashes and we're done. If you guys are just now hopping on, we did some Friday favorites at the beginning, so make sure you um, go back and watch the replay so you catch those. They're always fun. And I'm gonna show you guys, I just kind of freehand my brows, but we do have a brow kit that has stencils that are super helpful. Um, I use the dark brown. And you can let grab that in the link that I posted. And then just kind of like upward strokes here. So I line the bottom and then I do upward strokes. And I don't like boxy eyebrows. Like I like them to have a round, like natural corner. Um, that's just my preference. So that's how I shape mine. And then the same thing over here. So I just kind of line the underneath part. And line back here. I go down where the hairs go down. And I just follow that. Okay. And then just kind of fill in where you need it. This matches my eye, my um, brows pretty good. I do mix a little bit of brown in with mine. Not a whole, like the light, it's, there's a dark brown. This is dark brown. <clears throat> 
and a light brown. So I mix, sometimes I mix a little bit of the, the light brown in with mine, so. And that's it, brows are done. Let me fix this one up a little bit more. Okay, easy, right? Um, and like I said, our brow kits do come with a stencil that are super helpful. If you've never shaped your brows before, um, you can get some good practice in with that. And um, if I didn't have um, a good shape to mine already, I would probably use them a lot more. So one thing I like that it does kind of prevent you from um, lining outside of your brow, so it makes it a little bit crisper. Um, so that's helpful too. All right. So, all we need is lashes. I got little hairs flying away over here. And I wore these yesterday, so maybe I'll change them up a little bit. These just came back in stock. We'll pop these babies on. These are the selfie lashes. So, these are our longest lash. Um really pretty if you don't want something quite this long but you still want like a cat eye i would go with um wonder lash wonder lash also came back in stock yesterday so that's really exciting all right so i'm going to show you guys the magic and if you've made it this far give yourself a big pat on the back congrats because Kids are crazy. Now I want to readjust that just a little bit because I went too far in my inner corner and I don't like the way it was positioned. So I just start right behind my natural lash line. Do you see that? Like that's me pulling on the lash and it's connected to my um my lid and i just like to position mine a little bit more so they're facing up and voila sometimes you might have to like press down on the magnets a little bit but um super pretty isn't that amazing look at the difference these are the boom i actually didn't wear these until just till just about a month or two ago i never wore these i just thought they were always too long for me and i would never wear them they would never be the lash for me and I don't wear them a whole lot, but they're definitely fun. They're definitely a nice Friday, Friday lash. And um, super fun. All right, so. I like mine to be pointed up instead of out. So. Sometimes I have to just kind of pull up on them a little bit to position them the way I like them. Let's see, let's, let's reposition that one one more time. So um, once they're on there for a good bit of time, sometimes if you pull the lash off and want to change them, you might have to like touch up your liner a little bit. Like if you were wanting to go from a daytime lash to a more dramatic lash, um, but Usually right after I apply them, I can take them off a couple times to reposition if I need to. And a lot of times I'm using like the tippy top of the magnet instead of like the flat part. So, um, but yeah. Are those pretty? What do you think? All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, if you wanna see the Friday favorites and all the chaos, just watch the replay. Thanks guys. Bye.